It's really cloudy outside today and um, I'm kind of digging this weather. So today a few things are happening. I'm actually driving my wife's Mercedes. My Jeep needs to be repaired. Looks like the check engine light went on and my brake pads need work, which sucks. Keep moving forward, opening new doors and doing new things because we're curious and curiosity leads us down new paths. Walt Disney. I admire the Disney family so much and you know, again, we're Disney fans, we're annual pass holders, we go like maybe twice a week and um, we, I personally love Disney just because of the fact of what they built. They built an empire and um, it's a vision, it's curiosity that led to a vision and then became reality and now they're globally known and it's insane what they built. It's on the way to work and uh, yeah, I'll see you at my desk. <music> So I just got into the office and um, I'm testing out my video micro. So right now I have it on. Uh, where's my phone? Great. I think I left my phone on the car. Being a vlogger is not impossible. I mean, just do it, just start. Not a lot of people are doing dailies like I'm doing. It's every day I'm going to work, every day I'm editing, every day I'm kicking out a video. And I think it's all about consistency, content, and basically how you market yourself. You know, if how are people going to know you're a vlogger if you don't let them know? And that's kind of the trick with all this vlogging stuff is one consistency, upload, edit. I mean, be on time and be very consistent with what you do. So with me, I'm going to be kicking out these videos every day at 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 12 noon. That's my time frame. Um, length of video work is going to be around seven minutes, uh, roughly maybe five minutes. I'm going to try to crank it down. It's really hard to put my whole day into a five to seven minute clip. So that's my challenge. I have to do that. Second is content. I mean, people offer advice, motivation advice. I feel that I'm still learning my craft. I'm still learning what I'm doing. So the only advice I could give you is things that I have overcome, things that I've learned throughout my journey as an entrepreneur. Yesterday, I went through a few things on YouTube and I figured that like, if you go to YouTube video and you hit share and above it, it will list all these icons of social media uh, platforms and networks you can tap into. So yesterday, I'm like, you know what? What the heck? Let's just post it on every platform that I have. Tumblr, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I mean, I pretty much blasted my vlog everywhere. Why? Because people don't know that I'm a vlogger. People have no idea of what I am doing. So. I can't just post a video and leave it alone and hope that somebody will pick it up. I gotta get the word out. And same thing goes with the company. People won't discover you unless you tell them who you are. You gotta go and physically or digitally uh, give them a handshake. I call it a digital handshake. It's letting people know who you are, following them, liking them, somehow pointing them towards your vlog and your channel to make sure that they can to watch it, like, comment or possibly share it. So again, it's all about marketing. So I think those factors, those three factors is important. It's consistency, it's content and marketing. Those three things will make you successful. And above all that, number four, patience. I'm on the 20th vlog. I'm doing okay. A few subscribers are coming in. I'm getting a few more hits. People are commenting, giving them their thoughts, but at the end of the day, it's consistency. And I know that eventually it will take off. So those are my thoughts. So yeah, time to get to work. I made a commitment to myself to get up every hour and just go for a walk. And today this weather is gnarly. I mean, look at that. It's just beautiful. I personally love it when it's cloudy. So I just got out of work. I'm heading home and uh, probably gonna have dinner with my wife and uh, I hope so. I don't want to eat outside or have junk food. So instead of cooking and working on my Jeep, we decided to get some tacos from El Cuñado's with the wifey. Mm -hmm. 
So here's my review for Cuñado's taco truck in La Puente. Overall, it was okay, but I think if you want cheap tacos, this could be a good spot. And if you're really hungry, this could be the place for you. But overall, I think I've tasted better. The meat didn't have that much flavor. The tortillas were a little small. The meat had some fat in it as well. And uh, yeah. Uh. This is the Black & Decker Wi-Fi crock pot and it's Wi-Fi enabled. Just did a test. Now I'm connected no to my own phone network. Set it for three hours on high. Set. Now let's stop it. And let's set it on warm for four hours. There it is. And let's stop it. That's so sick. Black and Decker. Hey guys, so it's Esmeralda's birthday. Follow her right here. <laughs> Put a mini cake. Alright, I just got home, made mini cakes, and in the vlog here. Bye.